The Apple Watch Ultra is no cheap Apple Watch, but from previous tests, it has proven to be able to be the only Apple Watch available in the market that can truly deliver 18 hours with its display on consistently. But in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you ways you can actually increase the battery life under a single charge for a long lasting Apple Watch available in the market. So sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and begin. Starting off with the Wi-Fi. If you don't have LTE or cellular service activated on your Apple Watch Ultra, and you always carry your phone around whenever you're moving around with your Apple Watch, there's no need to have the Apple Watch really connect to Wi-Fi. The benefits of having Wi-Fi connected is primarily for nighttime purposes when you dock your device. Using Wi-Fi will allow the Apple Watch to actually download the firmware update if there is one automatically. Same goes for automatic app downloads and updates for the Apple Watch as well. But by having Wi-Fi turned off, not only does this save the energy of the Apple Watch, but this will actually communicate more efficient with your iPhone. So let's say for example, you do leave your phone around, but you go downstairs, that is gonna allow the Apple Watch to consistently connect to Bluetooth without wanting to search for a nearby Wi-Fi network and making that switch like from Bluetooth and Wi-Fi all the time. So this is a nice little hack you can use to save additional battery life, especially once more if you do travel with your iPhone a lot. The next thing, well, this is the most obvious one, is disabled always on display. Yes, always on display does drain some battery. It's not going to be a lot, but it will definitely save you or give you an additional 5 to 10 minutes by turning this off. And don't worry, we'll go more into more other complex settings to adjust. But by going into your settings and going to display and brightness, here's where you can actually go ahead and find the always on display on and off capabilities. Now, next thing I would advise to really squeeze out the last juice from a single charge is switch to a more simple watch face. If by doing this, less pixels are obviously activated, but less animation, the better, because it doesn't allow the screen to constantly refresh to the new animation whenever like second hand moves around. So keep that in mind. But if you like to actually slow down the refresh rate in general, if you like to use those second hands or you're okay about slowing down the animation of the Apple Watch, you actually have full freedom to also do so. Now, whenever you tap the home button, you always get this animation. Uh, the Apple Watch uh, is able to accomplish this smooth transition due to the fact that it could go up to 60 hertz. But if you like to slow it down all the way to zero, or not zero, I mean like one, the low numbers basically, this will suffer the animation, but this will definitely give you a boost in battery life. If you actually go into your settings and go ahead and scroll into accessibility, and in accessibility where it says reduce motion, Turn this on, and now the animation is limited, but again, you're saving battery life. So if you're okay with this, this is a nice little hack you can try. Now the next thing you could try to squeeze out that last juice one more time is turning off background run apps. So with the Apple Watch, whenever you're using an app and you close it, technically it's not fully closed, it's still running in the background. Of course, you can always, always long press on the power button and then long press on the digital crown. This will force close those background apps if you absolutely have to, but there is a setting you can actually enable that will automatically close any app as soon as you exit out of this so it doesn't draw any battery whenever there's a new update that happened in that app, like a notification and such. So what you need to do to disable this is just go into your settings, go in general, scroll down to refine background app refresh, and here is where you have to go ahead and turn that off or if you like to, you can actually go down and you could turn it off um, individually on certain apps that you desire. Now, next tip, I could obviously advise if you actually go back and go back to your display and brightness setting, adjust the brightness to a low number, low percentage that you're comfortable with. Obviously, doing this will clearly drain less battery. Now, the next thing you could easily turn off is the automatic raise to wake feature. You may not notice this, but most of the time, even when you're just generally moving your hand, the Apple Watch will falsely just turn on the display. Obviously, majority of the time, it's not necessary for this to go on. So if you're trying to squeeze as much juice one more time, you should probably consider turning this off. So if you'd like to go ahead and do so, all you have to do is go into your settings and then just go into display and brightness. 
in here just scroll down and disable the wake feature and uh now just turn, tap on the digital crown or tap on the apple watch display and that will actually cause it to automatically turn on and then of course since we're still here if you go down the very bottom you can also adjust the wake duration to the low number which is 15 seconds so if you don't cover your apple watch to turn off the display a shorter time obviously will turn it off completely and now if we actually go back another thing i want to quickly show you is in the siri disable the hey yeah i don't want to set off your device so disable that as well as to raise the speak by disabling these two sensors now siri is not trying to consistently be summoned basically so that's another clever way to boost some uh, battery life performance now this next tip is for oled display black black is the most energy efficient color second to red and then green this will technically boost your battery life percentage as well but there is actually a setting in the apple watch setting that you can enable that will actually make everything into a black and white color and we're gonna go ahead and accomplish this by enabling grayscale that could be found in the settings and just go into accessibility and just scroll down till you find grayscale and just like that everything on our apple watch is in black and white now the final thing i could recommend is just turn off certain notifications in general for this you do have to actually have access to your iphone by launching the official apple watch app tap on notifications and just scroll all the way down so you're into this section here just disable the notifications you really don't care about and that was everything else that we featured now the next thing you could do to increase it even more is if you actually launch the control center tap on the battery life percentage of your apple watch and just go ahead and enable low power mode and now you will notice all the settings that we changed is now it's kept and in addition to that the watch itself is also in low power mode which means the heart rate sensor the step track and everything is limited really preserving as much battery life as much as possible that you get out of this apple watch ultra and just like that that is how you are able to also achieve a long lasting battery life on your apple watch ultra if you need to squeeze out a little bit more than just three days hope you guys got some good informative information out of this video if you did you know what to do leave the video a like get subscribed so you don't miss more upcoming tech videos just like this and if you'd like to watch more maybe you're curious what type of accessories i use day to day on my apple watch ultra i've done a whole dedicated video you could go ahead and watch right over there and then that video over there that is the video youtube's recommending specifically for you thank you so much for watching take care and i'll catch y'all in the next one see ya